Hey everyone, Dr. Robin here. We had a great question from a patient asking us why is back pain so debilitating? You know, we can hurt certain areas, maybe our wrist or elbow or knee, and we can have an okay day. We can still go and do our daily tasks without, without severe pain. But with back pain, you can barely breathe. You can barely get out of bed. You can barely bend down to put your shoes on. Why is the back so much worse to injure than other areas? And the answer lies in something called guarding. So what is guarding? Guarding is very, very much so a shortening of the muscle to protect that area from getting injured more. So for instance, if you were to think of guarding as uh, you, we've all seen the reflex hammer when somebody hits the patella tendon, what happens is if you were to watch this in slow motion is that reflex hammer causes a very rapid stretch to the patella tendon and then that responds with a very quick shortening. So when the body senses a very rapid stretch, it wants to shorten, to contract, to prevent tears, to prevent dislocations and injuries and things like that. Another example would be if you've ever seen a sprinter um, or a baseball player trying to beat one out down the line and they go and really stretch and open up their stride and they pull their hamstring, what happens is a very quick shortening of the hamstring, they'll hop on one leg and bend that injured area to shorten the hamstring to try to protect it from tearing any further and overstretching. So the question is why in the spine is it so much worse than other areas when we have this shortening, when we have this guarding effect that unfortunately many of us have in our life? And the answer lies in the neurology and the importance of what's inside the spine. And if you look down through the spine, you'll see the spinal cord, which is obviously a very important part of our body. It's of high priority. So what happens if we were to injure our spinal cord? We can have paralysis, we can have death. So what happens is these muscles do not like any interference, anything to bother that spinal cord. So even sometimes for the most minor things, um, going up, going in the morning to just put your you know, slippers on, or in the laundry room, picking up a basket, uh, you know, it'll sense that very rapid stretch and give that guarding, that quick shortening if it's not prepared for it. So something that you can do on your own to prevent this is if you know you have a back condition, uh, you should be doing mobility, things like that, which we always preach, but slow transitions. If you know that you're going to transition getting in and out of the car, getting up from a bed, bending to pick something up, do it nice and controlled and slow. Those abrupt quick, sudden changes of direction and motion are what can activate that guarding response. So that's one thing that you can do. Another thing is getting with a trainer, somebody that can help you to strengthen your core. The stronger your core is, the more you can get away with previous spinal issues. So looking for an excellent trainer in your community is something we always try to help people with and something that will really help you to prevent this guarding effect from happening. Um, some other things that you can do is uh, just to practice good mechanics. Knowing that this happens just to move properly is, is very important as well. So um, this doesn't happen always with the heavy deadlift or the heavy back squat. It really will just sneak up on you. For instance, we had a patient the other day uh, in their last set of rows at the gym, you know, when their core was a little bit tired and fatigued, they reached forward and overstretched that spine, and then what happened was that rapid guarding effect. So when you're in your last set, uh, when you're working out, or when you're fatigued, that's the time to, most important, uh, engage that core, really tighten it to protect the spine from over moving and getting that rapid guarding effect. So uh, what we do in our office when somebody comes in with this type of acute guarding injury is number one, we try to get rid of the inflammation as quick as possible to help the irritation of the nerves to subside. We try to talk to the muscles to tell them, hey, it's okay, do some specific uh, trigger point therapy, massage, maybe some spinal adjustments if it's warranted, and try to ease the tension in that area to relax the area. And then most importantly, educate the patient on guarding, why it happens, and what exercises they can do to help strengthen their core, or find them a great trainer in the community that can help lead them and uh, build their core strength. So I hope that answers your question on why back pain is much more debilitating than almost any area, and the answer lies in the spine. The spinal cord is high priority to our nervous system. When it detects that something is wrong there, something is rapidly overstretched, that's why we get that violent guarding uh, mechanism to protect us. So, Dr. Rodman, have a great day.